Can you believe that one in five children and adolescents globally are overweight? So what can we do to help ourselves and our children to tackle issues such as obesity? occasion of the full moon day 30th November 2020 purifying society must be rooted from our inner mind we are not isolated because the Dhamma is everywhere I always change the Dhamma Chaka but Watana Sutta before I start my meditation and it gives uh, explanations about the uh, middle path, uh, four noble true, and the uh, noble eightfold path. What we need to do is make short movies so it's easy to understand. Chanting is a process of gathering the divine and spiritual energies. Today I would like to share the benefits of chanting the Machakapawatana Sutra. It's time for our final speakers. Please welcome Ms. Joyce Nian, Buddha Care member, Youth Leader of the Federation of Australia. Namo Sakyamuni Buddha, dear venerables, monks and nuns, Dharma brothers and sisters. Wow, it's been four hours and I'm just so amazed and impressed that most of us are still here. So thank you so much. I feel very honored to be here to share my thoughts with you all today. And I've enjoyed listening to all our amazing speakers tonight. And thank you so much to our beautiful co-hosts for doing a fabulous job with hosting, translating and summarizing the speeches. Thank you. Firstly, how wise was the Buddha to have taught us the four noble truths and the importance of avoiding the two extremes, sensual indulgence and self-mortification in his very first sermon, the Dhammachaka Pavatana Sutta. I think these teachings are still as relevant today as it was to more than two and a half thousand years ago. In today's modern world, the culture seems to be shifting towards that of dysregulation, which in the New York Times, Judith Warner alludes to as the inability to control or regulate one's cravings, emotions, impulses, or greed. We've all talked today about the pandemic already, so I want to take another example, like obesity. Experts describe it as a pathologically intense drive for food consumption, similar to drug addiction. Did you know that, according to ourworldindata.org, Obesity is one of the leading risk factors for premature death. It was linked to 4.7 million deaths globally in 2017. And can you believe that one in five children and adolescents globally are overweight? So what can we do to help ourselves and our children to tackle issues such as obesity? I believe it starts with us in becoming more informed, such as about health and nutrition, exercise, and in leading by example, which is something that I've been particularly focusing on for the last year or so. In parallel, we also need to chant the Dhammachaka Pavatana Sutta, something that I'm committing to doing regularly. This will help to calm and purify our mind. And I just 
really appreciate Nan Matila, Sister Lalipat, for sharing the amazing benefits of chanting. I think, I think that they're very powerful. Help in the transformation of different life issues, physical body issues, mental blockage, energy blockage, emotional imbalances, trauma, spiritual blockage, challenges associated with relationships, along with the negative emotions. When chanting the sutra, it also helps to remind us to strike the right balance between the two extremes and to practice the middle way. The best way to do this, I think, is to chant the sutra together because there's so much power when we chant this together, especially with friends from all around the world. It generates a lot of healing energy and can help us and our children to be happier, healthier, and radiate this happiness to others around us. Thank you so much. Namo Sakyamuni Buddha. I would like to declare about the declaration of this Global Dharma Chakra Forum. It is very important for us as a son and daughter of the Buddha. We need to be able to share our opinions. Tra is the oldest. Chanting, also we are reciting. Dhamma. Dhamma Kaya Foundation has stake. Together, working is another. Vajanta Janardanta. Energy. And wisdom will occur. We believe and we practice our first Dharma Chakra. And very grateful to invite me to participate in this first. May the noble triple gem bless you all before as the lotus. Thank you. More benefits than we might expect. We used to recite the Sutta on a full moon day, a Buddhist land, period. Now its scope has been. kinh chuyện pháp luân nghe như vậy một thời đức phật ngồi bên gốc cây trong vườn lộc và nước ba la này nam mô bổn sư thích ca mâu ni phật nam mô a di đà phật